these are 10 steps how you can connect Resilum Arena, a popular software, to our controller Reactivo. First step, visit our eShop and purchase one of our Reactivo controllers. Second step is to install Resilum Arena software. We can only recommend this software as it is easy to work with. There is a lot of effects that you can choose from. Next step would be to create an effect. You will go to sources and here you can choose whatever effect you like. I do prefer these metaballs and red cells. And why to create the effect first? It's considered a good practice to create the effect first. And then once you will start to add fixtures and devices, you will see right away whether or not it is working properly. Next step is to create your fixture. In the software, you will go to Arena and click on Fixture Editor. Here, you will select or hit plus and it will create a new fixture for you. I have this short piece of LED strip connected to my device and it has 66 pixels. I can name my new fixture and in the width parameter I will add 66 as well. This line over here represents this LED strip. Next step is to set up your Lumiverse. You'll go to Arena and in Preferences you will scroll down to DMX. Once you will hit New Input it will create a Lumiverse for you. A quick note here, uh, in our devices, we are starting from Universe 1. In a Resolum Arena and some other programs, uh, it might happen that you are starting from Universe 0. The next step is to select to which network adapter you are sending the data to. You can see a list of all the adapters that you have in your computer. I have only one. My controller is connected over Wi-Fi to my network. Next step is to set up your output. You will go to Output and in, adv in Advanced you will see this window over here. In default the software is sending the content to a virtual screen. However, we want to send it over ArtNet to our device. So we'll go to this button over here and we will select DMX Lumiverse. The software will automatically add the fixture that we've created previously. That fixture or that LED strip is represented by this line over here. We can zoom out a bit and make sure that the LED strip is within the area. Now we have to set up where we are sending the data. In the target IP, you can see a list of all the devices, all the pixel controllers that are connected to our network. You can select the one that the software finds automatically and you ought to see the content on your LED strip. However, it might happen that for whatever reason, the content is not playing on your LED strip. No worries, you can set up the IP address manually here. I know that my controller ends with an IP 185. Once I will hit enter, you will be able to see the content playing on my LED strip. And that's basically it, how you can work with Reactivo and Resolume Arena software. If you have any questions in regards to this, make sure to let us know. Hmm, was it 10 steps already?